this video, I will show you the measurement menu of the Maple app. First, you select the location. For female, this could be vagina or anal. And for men, of course, only anal. Then you select the measurement type you want to do. You can choose from rest, FHC, endurance or training. For rest and training, you can set the measurement duration. For MVC and endurance, you can set the number of contraction, the contraction active period and the contraction rest period. From the display settings for the graph, you can change the sensitivity or the time span. And also, you can toggle on an EMG reference line, which you can use during biofeedback. If you want to customize and save the default settings, you can use the buttons on the bottom left. On the right, you see a representation of the grid with all the 24 electrodes. Per default, they are all active or green. You can select or deselect individual electrodes, but you can also deselect and select entire sites. When you're ready, you can press measurement on the top right to go to the measurement screen. The measurement screen shows you the graph on the right and the maple grid on the left and provides real-time feedback of the EMG. With the controls on the bottom of the screen, you can start, stop, save and discard a session. With the switch in the middle, you can switch the sides left right. So you can switch between anatomical or operator view and patient view anytime during the measurement. With the switch next to the grid, you can ch change between absolute and reference comparison mode anytime during the measurement. And as you see, you see now very little activity, but that's perhaps because my patient is a glass of water. When you've toggled on the reference line, you can choose you can use the two steppers above the graph to adjust the height of two reference lines which you can use for biofeedback during any session. When you're finished the measurement, you can press stop and you can either discard or save the measurement in the patient's history.